we have the hinge that's broken. That's failed. The other one seems okay, but they obviously need replacing now. And this is the box on top of the engine. The engine's under here. And that's the cockpit. And what's happened? Because that hinge has failed, when I've trodden on this, all the forces have gone through the little supports underneath and snapped them all off. So I've got to take the whole thing off and repair it. Okay, so here we are now removing the broken supports and uh, nice and carefully removing the soundproofing so that we can reuse it afterwards. Now over time, jumping down onto this board from the cockpit, because it's quite a step down, has uh, broken the screws and pulled them out which are holding on the buttons that go underneath that uh, support this deck uh, so it's a bit springy so I decided to drill the holes a nice clearance holes put some lovely stainless steel screws in which pulls all those buttons underneath up nice and tight and you can just see them there and now that's all solid and now that doesn't move at all and that's the original strength as it should be and you can see the buttons there now and um, nice and strong so now I cut in some pieces of, uh, of wood here which is the uh, Iroko and um, there to the length to, to replace the, the strips that had failed and they were far too thin anyway to be honest but these are quite chunky pieces and I'm just marking off on here where I'm going to be putting the uh, screws and transferring that to the wood above and then I'm going to drill again some nice clearance holes and the whole idea of drilling the clearance holes is that when we put the screws through there they just slip through those holes and then they grip nicely onto the wood and pull it tight there you see I'm putting on the glue already so there it is and it's pulling it nice and tight so that glue will hold it strong as well very very strong in fact but um, the screws and the glue will make sure that that will not fail again uh, because of course um, it's a bit dangerous and uh, not to mention a bit of a nuisance so uh, now what I'm doing is cutting uh, the little uh, clearance for the hinges the new hinges which are sort of hidden inside in fact instead of being on the surface mounted the, on the inner edge and I'm just cutting the clearance for the hinge itself there and screwing those on and then I screw the you know the top onto it and um, which doesn't take too long I think they were just so these are only lightweight hinges and now I'm clearing off all the paint that sort of soaked through as we've repainted it and clearing up the edges and there we have it done and now we're spraying on three coats of contact adhesive to put the soundproofing on it does make quite a bit of difference even on these little bits of wood and um, there I'm putting the um, uh, newspaper down to make sure that I I don't overspray and that's three coats and once they're dry I then just uh, squish them all together and that's it done all the soundproofing replaced and just clearing it all up vacuuming any stuff that might have fallen through onto the engine I was quite careful anyway and make sure there's nothing on there and then we place that board in screw it down and we're done <laughs> 